subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Uzma Jafri. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday, the 5th of November. Indian PM Modi offers prayers at Kedarnath Temple, inaugurates various development projects. Pakistan government jacks up price of petrol day after PM Imran Khan warned fuel would get dearer. and Kabul residents fear growth of Islamic state rising in security after hospital attack and now for all the details Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday offered prayers at the famous Kedarnath shrine in northern Uttarakhand state and inaugurated a 12 foot long statue of revered 8th century Hindu philosopher Adi Shankaracharya in the temple premises the prime minister also inaugurated various redevelopment projects in the region which witnessed heavy destruction during the devastating 2013 floods Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday offered prayers at the Hill Shrine of Kedarnath in northern Uttarakhand state and inaugurated various development projects worth 17.5 million US dollars. The Prime Minister also unveiled a 12 feet long statue of revered 8th century Hindu philosopher Adi Shankaracharya at his memorial in Kedarnath temple premises which has been reconstructed after it was damaged in the deadly 2013 Uttarakhand floods. The projects that were inaugurated include retaining walls, houses for priests and a bridge on River Mandakini. Addressing a gathering of pilgrims and locals, the Prime Minister said that India now aims high and also sets a time limit to achieve these aims. फिर से उठ खड़ा होगा क्या लेकिन मेरे भीतर की आवाज कह रही थी ये पहले से अधिक आन बान शान के साथ खड़ा होगा Prime Minister Modi's visit came as Uttarakhand is scheduled to hold assembly polls early next year He said this decade belongs to Uttarakhand and there will be an unprecedented boost to connectivity in the region in the coming years residents in several cities across northern india woke up to grey skies on friday as air quality dipped to hazardous levels following the festival of lights diwali the air in capital new delhi and surrounding areas hung heavy with acrid smoke Despite a blanket ban in the national capital till January 1, 2022, people across the city burst firecrackers late into Thursday night, worsening pollution levels. The festival of lights Diwali left New Delhi residents to cope with alarming high levels of air pollution on Friday as air quality deteriorated sharply overnight after firecrackers were set off despite a ban in the Indian capital. Lighting firecrackers was banned in New Delhi and steep fines for any violations were announced but many flouted the rules on Diwali. The air quality in New Delhi slipped into hazardous category on Friday morning from severe on Thursday night. The AQI air quality index surged to 451 on a scale of 500, the maximum recorded this year indicating severe conditions. The AQI measures the concentration of poisonous particulate matter PM 2.5 in a cubic meter of air. हमारा जो बुलेटिन आया हुआ है एयर क्वालिटी का जो इंडेक्स है और उसकी जो प्रेडिक्शन तो ये सीवियर कैटेगरी में है बिकॉज़ कल क्रैकर्स और बायोमास का जो पोल्यूटेंट्स है उसी के वजह से और दूसरा जो प्रॉब्लम है फॉग भी शुरू हो गया है और विजिबिलिटी बहुत ही डिटोरेट हुआ द एयर क्वालिटी डिटोरेटेड इन अदर पार्ट्स ऑफ नॉर्दर्न इंडिया एज वेल आफ्टर स्वेट्स ऑफ फायर क्रैकर्स लेफ्ट ओवर्स वर सीन स्कैटर्ड ऑन द रोड्स पोस्ट सेलिब्रेशंस पीपल कंप्लेंट ऑफ डिफिकल्टी इन ब्रीथिंग एंड बर्निंग सेंसेशन इन आईज सांस लेने में वो बात नहीं है जो कल थी आज भारीपन है कण जो इसके मिट्टी के धूल के 
वो भी प्रभाव डाल रहे हैं आज यहाँ पे आबादी भी बहुत कम है लोग आए भी नहीं है हो सकता है रात भर आतिशबाजी की हो उसके कारण आए हो या यहाँ के वातावरण को देख के लोग जल्दी निकल गए Pollution levels surge in northern India during winters as lower temperatures and a drop in wind speed tend to trap pollutants in the air longer. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi told the COP26 climate summit in Glasgow on Monday that India would achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2070. But some experts reckon that target was at least two decades too late. In news from Pakistan Pakistan government on Thursday increased petroleum prices by up to rupees 8.14 per liter a day after Prime Minister Imran Khan warned fuel would get dearer. For the first time in the country's history prices of all petroleum products are above rupees 110 per liter. This comes amid an already all-time high inflation which has shaken domestic budgets and made life difficult. Making a new record, the Pakistan government on Thursday increased petroleum prices by up to rupees 8.14 per litre, with immediate effect to ensure the revival of the International Monetary Fund or IMF program. The new price of petrol stands at rupees 145.82 per litre, while similarly the price of diesel has gone up to rupees 142.62 per litre. This is the first time in the country's history that prices of all petroleum products are above rupees 110 per liter. This comes amid an already all-time high inflation which has shaken domestic budgets and made life difficult. Locals and shopkeepers in illegally occupied region of Pakistan administered Kashmir expressed deep anguish and said Prime Minister Imran Khan should step down from his post. as he has failed to control the price rise and has been apathetic towards plight of the common people hukumat ko karna chahiye ya to ye mehngai khatam kare ya to ye hukumat hi chhod de aur kisi ke hawale kare inke bas mein to nahi control nahi kar sakte hain to ye chhod de itni mehngai roz roz ye petrol mehnga hota hai diesel mehnga hota hai iski wajah se har cheez mehngi hoti hai pichle saal 60 rupaye do bhi leta tha iske इस तरफ अस्सी रुपये हो गए हम क्या करें लोकल्स इन पाकिस्तान एडमिनिस्ट्रेड कश्मीर ब्लेम इन स्टेड ऑफ एरिंग द पीपल इन द ऑलरेडी बैकवर्ड रीजन वेर पीपल शुड बी गिवन रिलीफ इकोनॉमिक लॉजेस फेस बाय पाकिस्तान ड्यू टू पॉलिसी पैरालिसिस आर आल्सो कंपेंसेटेड फ्रॉम रीजंस अंडर इट्स इलीगल कंट्रोल मोर ऑन न्यूज़ फ्रॉम पाकिस्तान Pakistan's Interior Minister Sheikh Rashid Ahmed has revealed that TLP the Tehreek-e-Labbaik Pakistan's chief Saad Hussain Rizvi was adamant on the matter of expulsion of the French ambassador during negotiations a key demand of the proscribed religious party during protests over publication of caricatures of Islam's prophet in a French magazine The minister said he convinced the imprisoned TLP chief that the expulsion issue will be taken up in the parliament. The deal reached last Sunday came after around 2 weeks of clashes near Lahore city in Punjab province in which at least 7 policemen were killed and hundreds injured on both sides. As part of the deal the group which was proscribed in April would also be allowed to contest elections now reports suggest Meanwhile the government on Thursday transferred the entire police high command of Lahore city in a massive reshuffle in the wake of their mishandling of TLP's protests several regional and district police officers have also been reshuffled across Punjab province local media reported Moving on to news from Bangladesh Bangladesh's capital Dhaka has started administering COVID-19 vaccination to school children aged 12 to 17 from this week Students are receiving Pfizer vaccine doses in line with World Health Organization instructions. Bangladesh has been seeing daily infection rates below or around 2% for the few weeks. However, experts warn a fresh mild wave of COVID-19 may hit the country this winter due to public apathy to wear masks, health safety rules and low pace in vaccine. Bangladesh this week started administering COVID-19 vaccines to school children aged 12 to 17 years old in capital Dhaka. The campaign was formally launched by Health Minister Zahid Malik and Education Minister Deepu Moni on Monday at Motijhil Ideal School and College. 
According to Directorate General of Health Services, students receive Pfizer vaccine doses in line with World Health Organization instructions at eight centers. The Bangladeshi government launched the campaign in Dhaka with a target to vaccinate at least 40,000 students every day. The vaccination campaign will be expanded to other districts outside Dhaka gradually. So far, 29,897,953 people have been vaccinated in Bangladesh. The country reported seven deaths and 247 new cases on Thursday with a 1.32 passivity rate. The death toll reached 27,887 and the total case load rose to 1,570,485. Though the COVID-19 pandemic looks to have eased in Bangladesh with an insignificant infection rate for the past several weeks, experts warn that a fresh mild wave of COVID-19 may hit the country during this winter amid the presence of different flus due to public apathy to wear masks and health safety rules, low pace in vaccination and lack of human intervention and necessary bulwarks. In news from Afghanistan, Islamic State has emerged as the biggest threat to the Taliban government in Afghanistan. The group's attacks have caused mounting worries outside Afghanistan about the potential for the country to become a haven for militant groups. Residents in Afghan capital Kabul fear growth of Islamic State and rising insecurity after the hospital attack this week that killed at least 25 people. Residents in Afghan capital Kabul on Thursday said they feared rising insecurity and the growth of Islamic State after an attack that targeted the country's biggest military hospital earlier in the week. At least 25 people were killed and more than 50 wounded when gunmen attacked the hospital after two heavy explosions at the site in central Kabul on Tuesday, officials said. Islamic State claimed responsibility for the attack, the group's Amak news agency said on an affiliated Telegram channel. Islamic State has emerged as the biggest threat to Taliban control of Afghanistan. Tuesday's blast added to a growing list of attacks and killings since the Taliban completed their victory over the Western-backed government in August, undermining their claim to have restored security to Afghanistan after decades of war. Islamic State's attacks have caused mounting worries outside Afghanistan about the potential for the country to become a haven for militant groups, as it was when an Al-Qaeda group attacked the United States in 2001. The concern has been worsened by a spiralling economic crisis that has threatened millions with poverty as winter approaches and left thousands of former Taliban fighters with no employment. Devout Hindus across India celebrated the Hindu festival of Govardhan Puja dedicated to Lord Krishna on Friday. They offered prayers and performed rituals and made a symbolic hill out of cow dung and mud which signifies Lord Krishna saving the people from the wrath of Indira, the Hindu rain god. Meanwhile, people across western Gujarat state also thronged temples to mark the Gujarati New Year with fervor and gaiety. Hindu devotees across India thronged temples to offer prayers and perform rituals on Friday to mark the Govardhan Puja festival with devotion and fervor a day after Diwali, the festival of lights. Legends say Lord Krishna this way to the people of Gokul from worshipping the Hindu rain god Lord Indra. This angered Indra who brought about a rainstorm to frighten people but Krishna lifted the whole of Govardhan mountain on the tip of his finger for seven days and save the people from the wrath of Indra. Devotees make a symbolic hill out of cow dung and mud on the occasion, which signifies Lord Krishna saving the people from Indra's wrath. They also make offerings of wheat, rice and leafy vegetables. Devotees 
Meanwhile, similar festive scenes were witnessed in Western Gujarat state as people offered prayers at temples to mark the Gujarati New Year as per the Hindu calendar. The day coincides with the Govardhan Puja festival. This day is extremely important for the Gujarati community and people dress up in new clothes and decorate their houses to mark a new beginning of the year. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.